Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we understand our question. We must implement the function count show pass. The function accepts the two arguments n and the array. So here n represents the number of shoes and array represents the integer array as the color of the shoe. And all shoes are of the same size and the count of the number of matching pair of shoes must be the output. So finally we must return the count. Now we'll take our first test case. So in this test case we have 9 as the number of shoes and now we are going to find the count of number of matching pair of shoes. So the pair count will be initially 0. So here we have the count of shoes. So first we have 15 then we are checking for another pair so here we have another 15 so these two form a pair so the pair count will be 1 now so now we'll remove those shoe and now we have another pair that is 25 and 25 so now the pair count will be incremented by 1 so the pair count becomes 2 and now we'll remove that shoes and now we have again 15 and we are checking for another pair 15 so here it is so these two form a pair so the pair count becomes 3 and now we'll remove those shoe And now you can see that we have 35, 45 and 25. So these will not form, form any pair. So we are just going to return 3 as our output. So now we will take our another test case. So here we have 4 numbers. And now the bank count is 0 initially. So these two 10 will form a pair. So the pair count becomes 1. That is it is incremented by 1. And now we'll remove. And we have another 10 10 pair. So now the pair count becomes two so two will be our output so we'll just return the pair count as our output we'll solve this in c programming language so here we have the main function where we get the integer n and then we have the array of size n so we are getting it by trading from 0 to n and then here we have the printf of the count shoe pair of n comma array so our task is to implement this function so here we have that so in this function first we will have the pair count as 0 initially and then we'll be iterating from index 1 0 to index less than n and for the int in 2 equal to index 1 plus 1 and 
index 2 less than n and in this situation we'll have if the array of the index 1 is equal to equal to array of in 2 then so if uh, if any size matches then we are going to increment the pair count by 1 and the array of in 1 will be minus 1 and the array of in 2 will be also minus 1 and finally will break so this will terminate this loop and finally the pair count will be returned to get our output so here we have another condition that is the array of in one must be not equal to minus one so as i said finally we'll return the pair count so this will give us the desired output